Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles. This is for the girls who love leather jackets, well leather blazers, and the type of blazers that we can get to fit our frame as tall women. There's a particular brand that I absolutely love and they are Lamarck. Their leather blazers are unmatched in my opinion. They do often have sales, okay? Saks sometimes sell their, their blazers and the prices are lower because you guys know Saks always has a sale. But I wanted to show you the ones that I absolutely love. They are the same style of blazer, but the colors is what I really wanted to show you guys and what I'll be wearing this fall. So first, I'm gonna get into this ivory color blazer. I keep it inside this plastic, which I'm actually gonna switch it because I have some more garment bags and take them out of here and just start replacing <laughs> I'm gonna put it in here actually <laughs> um, just start replacing my plastics with some garment bags but this is a beautiful ivory color I'm gonna pop it a picture in with me with it on very very nice soft buttery leather actually it's not ivory it's bone so it has like a I don't know like it's white but it's not fully white very nice this is a size medium I did get a large in the brown and the black one. The green one is actually a medium as well, but you'll see how they fit me quite different. Bone is a color that is always gonna come around year after year. I don't care if, if, it, if it's a new season. This color is always gonna be in my rotation. That is solely because I have a lot of stuff that are neutral and I just like neutral colors. I like to wear gold a lot and I think bone is a beautiful color to wear with gold. Not so much silver, definitely gold. It gives it that pop. A bone blazer is one thing, one color that I would actually recommend you guys having in your wardrobe. It doesn't have to be leather. You can have a bone trench coat. You can have a bone, um, like wool blazer, something like that, but definitely opt for a bone color blazer. I prefer leather because I can wear it a ton of ways. And I am a girl who loves leather pieces. And once I figured out Lamarck had a really nice leather, leather jacket, I went for them. So that is the first one. And let me know what you guys think about this color. Let me actually show you something really quick. What I also like about these jackets is that the, I don't know if you, I'm gonna show you guys in the other jacket as well because you may be able to see it. But the buttons on it is the same color, which I like. So it's pretty much a monochrome jacket. Sometimes you'll buy a blazer and the, the buttons are a different color, but these are monochrome to the jacket. The other color is this beautiful green. It's not so much of a hunter green, but I don't know. It's like a, I can't explain the color because it's not Kelly either. However, it's really, really nice quality. Yeah, you can see it better here. The quality is amazing. It's just a really nice made jacket. Let me pull this in here so you guys can see. Inside is nice. The holes on here made really well. You know, sometimes you'll buy a jacket. I'm keep looking here, guys. Um, sometimes you'll buy a jacket and the stitching here is not made well, but this is a these are really, really nice jackets. Now I do have it on the wrong hanger. I need another hanger for this. But the back has a little bit of detailing here. Um, it does not have the split at the bottom. So if you're looking for something with a split down here, it doesn't have it. And again, this is a medium size jacket as well as the bone color one. But I am a big, big, big lover of leather. And if I can find something that fits my shoulders, I'll show you guys that I am going to get it. I have broad shoulders as a tall girl. Most of us do have an athletic build and it's really hard for us to find jackets that fit. Hence this shirt that I have on. This is a Levi's men denim shirt. 
and it's I got an extra large but I like it because it just it just sits on me right so this is the other jacket that I absolutely love and and will be rocking this fall the others so here's another neutral color brown again the detailing on the back it's just a line across it kind of reminds me of like like an 80s jacket kind of a bit um, just with the back, just a straight cut, no actual slit in the bottom. Beautiful chocolate color, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The large, you guys will see how this one fits me as opposed to the medium. They are an oversized fit. So I purchased the, I might have purchased the cream one first. No, I think I purchased this one first. And I got this on sale. Not the sale from Lamarck's website, but Saks had a sale, and it was like for the low low. These are like almost $700 a piece, literally, I think. Um, but Saks had it on sale, and they had my size, and I think I paid like $200 and mm, $250 maybe? Like something low. This is a beautiful color. So it's very simple. Uh, it does have some pockets here, but the pockets are not like real pockets because it's like a, a little. You can you can put something in here, but nothing crazy. Um, like I wouldn't put my keys or anything in there. But chocolate is another color. Again, I will pop in a photo of me with this on, and this is the large one, and you'll see how it fits my shoulders. So I'll come close so you guys can see both of them the medium and the large how they fit on my shoulder it does have slight shoulder pads in here which is also really really nice um but yeah Lamarck now I'm gonna actually switch over as I'm speaking to you guys I'm gonna actually change the hangers on the other ones because I'm noticing how this one is sitting on the hanger and it's not sitting well so let's do that. Hangers are really important when you buy jackets and sweaters and stuff. I don't recommend really hanging up sweaters. I do it sometimes, but I really shouldn't. Let's change this one as well because it's just sitting kind of awkward on the hanger. And it's such a soft leather that I don't want it to mess up. Again, everybody is not going to want to spend this much on a blazer, but as a tall girl, I like really nice pieces. It's really hard for us to find them. So when I find something and I really like it, I'm just gonna get it. And then the last one is the black one. This is the only one that I paid full price for, okay? It's not gonna go on sale solely because it is a classic color. There's one more that I want. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I need another one because I have a jacket similar, but that one does have cropped sleeves. So I may just go ahead and get it. But here's the black one, same exact layout, but it is bigger than the others. It is a lot bigger than the, the medium. It's a large. It's really nice. This is a really, really, one thing I'm never gonna do is show you guys something that the quality is poor. If it's poor, I'm going to tell you. Hence, the Brixton hats. <laughs> Those straw hats, they over there. What are they over there? You guys already know, I said it before. They do have one that's nice. That's the straw one with the natural color. But the two that are darker, that black one and that other like brownish color, it's a no-go because they sprayed it with something. The quality is not good. That natural one is absolutely gorgeous. So these are my favorite blazers. And again, they are the same exact blazer, but the color is different. Things like this you want to invest in, especially if it's a great leather. Leather is costing so much money. There's a lot of women who do not like to wear leather for their own reasons, but they do have vegan leather. And I would say with vegan leather, try to be as careful as you can because some of the vegan leather is not good. If you're gonna buy something that's a vegan leather, just make sure it's really good quality. Go for something that has like a little bit of graininess in it. It gives it just a 
luxurious a luxurious feel as opposed to something that is smooth these are the, the, the blazers that I absolutely love and I would recommend getting classic colors if you do have the money to get something that is a little bit more expensive a lot of brands are selling again faux leather but look at the details see what they're making it with is it worth the money I have purchased vegan leather and they're really nice but there's some where it's just not the good quality it smells weird so those are some of the things you want to look out for if you are going to go that route but for me and my wardrobe and longevity I'm always going to go for something more uh, on the 100% leather side and just pay for it if I got something that is a faux leather it's still a really nice jacket you guys know I love the Frankie shop I have a faux leather trench coat from them it's nice but the one from Koss is really nice <laughs> um, and that is love so those are the jackets that I will be wearing this fall and a brand that I absolutely love for their quality Lamarck is not cheap but they do carry things that are for I don't want to say tall women but they're oversized that we could actually wear so let me know what you guys think have you ever shopped at the brand Lamarck are you gonna check them out and how do you feel about these jackets and the colors that I have here Again, these are colors that I absolutely love and will be wearing this fall. And I'm probably going to add another color in. But as for now, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. And make sure you are subscribing to the channel. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog. Coco Styles NYC and my styling services, Coco Styles NY. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.